Tonight, a Jacksonville teen is being held in jail on a $900,000 bond, accused in an armed robbery over shoes and a cell phone. Police say 19-year-old Javaris Platts committed the robbery in December, and he was arrested in the case just last week. Tonight, Channel 4's Francesca Amaker was able to speak with Platt's mother, and Francesca, I'm sure she was stunned at a $900,000 bond. And of course, that prompted me to ask her if her son, 19-year-old Javaris Platts, had any priors before he was 18 years old. She told me when he was 17 years old, he was possessing a firearm which landed him in the system for a year. He actually just got out of jail in September. Now, three months later, he's back in jail for a crime his mother says he did not commit. This is the park where it all went down, the area where police say 19-year-old Javaris Platts robbed a man at gunpoint for a brand new pair of Air Jordan sneakers. According to the police report, the victim posted an ad on this Facebook page where shoe lovers agreed to buy and sell shoes. The report shows the victim agreed to sell the shoes to Platts at Billy Cobb Senior Park, but was instead held at gunpoint. I knocked on the home of the alleged victim. No one was there, but when I went to Platt's residence, his mother greeted me from the window. He went at 10 p.m., 10 a.m. that morning and bought the same shoes for $220. I gave him the money and he's on camera buying the shoes. The suspect mother, Bridget Washington, says the same day of the robbery, her son bought the shoes from DTLR. She even invited us inside to see the receipt and the shoes. She says when her son met the alleged victim at the park, the shoes did not look real, so he was no longer interested in the sale. But he says there were men in the park when he left. He said he walked away from the boys, and as he walking away from the boys, the two guys stayed at the park talking to some more guys, and then 30 minutes later, he texted Shavar and said, you set me up, you know they was going to rob me. But Bridget insists her son did not know that was going to happen. She just prays his name is cleared soon. I'm praying that it'll see itself through because I know my son has no reason to rob anyone. I mean, I've been on my job for 18 years. I buy him anything he wants. He don't want for anything. He's just down there in that Sherwood area around the wrong crew. And I've asked him to stay from down there, and he won't. So now he has to learn that, you know, that's not a good area for him to be in. I hope he learned his lesson. And now Javaris, his mother, and his 14-year-old little sister is awaiting his trial. And again, this just kind of reiterates what the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has been mentioning on their social media about being careful with who you buy from and where it takes place. I'm live tonight at JSO headquarters, Francesca Marker Channel 4, the local station.